Hello there and welcome once again to Perspective. My name is Suraj and I want to continue from where I stopped about let's talk about Kigali. So I've mentioned in my part one some things so you can go back and check. So let's go into the country itself. Like I mentioned, Kigali lay a lot of emphasis on cleanliness and orderliness. The city is so clean. So clean you can sit in the gutters to eat or to drink, to be very honest. I'll share some videos later about this. You can, uh, yeah, then another interesting thing about Kigali is that Kigali, Rwanda as a country actually, it is referred to as a country of a thousand hills because Rwanda is has a lot of hills. Like, I don't want to call it mountainous because they are not actually mountain. There are fewer mountains than hills because, and I, I personally think they are very lucky because they have been hills instead of mountain make it easier for them to plant on the hills so you can see stuffs planted on the hills you see potatoes you see tea you see a lot of things planted around so like i believe they are very lucky having more hills than mountain and if another very another exciting feeling about driving on the hills like some of the things you see in movies where like the roads are cut through the hill and you're going all above the hill when you are leaving from kigali you are going to rubavu which is where the kivu is that's three hours from the city from the capital sorry you are going to be going literally on the rock on the hill sorry on the hill you go up you go down you go up you go down like the feeling is so so interesting like very 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 beautiful feeling so like that's just about the area they're moving around kigali or moving around rwanda generally they are buses but not a lot of buses like danfo they have buses more buses like brt you swipe your card to get in i use my like my legal style of like rushing into the bus and getting in through the wrong door but to my surprise on getting into the onto the bus there were cameras and there was a screen just beside the driver who sees whoever is coming in the camera comes on whenever the doors are opening so you know who is coming in and who is going out so even if you want to hide and not pay the driver sees you, you have no choice you have to go forward to pay like and that's actually very beautiful the buses are not too many and they don't go on many routes but you can use a motorbike to find your way around Cape Guys, the motorbikes are quite cheap cheaper than using move which is their equivalent of uber but the good thing about move is that you get to enter new cars like latest models because they have a factory of Volkswagen and the vehicles that operate on move are provided by Volkswagen so that's that's quite interesting another interesting thing i saw in kigali was being able to buy milk in kilo in, in, in liters like you don't just buy powdered milk like you get fresh milk from the farm yeah i know we have that in nigeria but especially you don't have that in the city so you can actually get like kilogram like oh get me two liters or a gallon then another fantastic thing very very mo one of the most fantastic thing is like you don't have police officers asking you for money or asking you for bribe i visited a lot of places in kigali their stadiums where they have they play a lot of emphasis on security maybe because of their past a lot of emphasis most of their facilities have securities and at night you see guards on every street like security is actually i think security is a big business in kigali so they play a lot of emphasis and nobody asks you for anything in fact when we were traveling when i was traveling to rubavu with my friend as well Kibu is with my friends and the driver wanted to say hey like in case we meet police on the way my assumption as an engineer is oh we are going to bribe police and said no 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 that's not my point just tell them we are friends and they are not going to ask us a lot of questions so like living in a place where nobody asks you for bribe is huge and that's one that's thumbs up for, for, for Rwanda a lot of Nigerians not a lot some Nigerians are actually relocating to Kigali and like some of them are vowing not to visit Nigeria again because like it's it's very sane another thing is that you can go on the uh, what is it, zebra crossing you can go on the zebra crossing and all vehicles are going to stop and wait for you nobody is going to like they respect that so much and it's something they started just over a year ago and everybody is complying to that it's something very beautiful about kigali there are a lot of interesting things about the kigali i also want to talk about the kigali memorial which documents the history of the genocide and you watch that in the next video see you then